Hello gamers! Welcome back to the channel, Falcon Dove here, and today we are jumping into Guilty Gear Strive. Guilty Gear Strive has just received a massive update that has changed so many things. Brand new mechanics, brand new moves, brand new characters, and most importantly, Crossplay has been added, and you have no idea what this has done for the game. It means everyone can play with everyone now, and I'm so excited because that means that means there's a bunch of new players coming to the game and a bunch of old players returning. So our lobbies have gone from this to this. So I figured it was the perfect time to drop some tips on how to get into Guilty Gear and make the most of it. First thing you want to do, go through the roster, pick a character that looks cool to you, right? It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter right, if this character is good or bad, it doesn't matter if this character is dumb or silly or hard or easy, just pick a character that looks badass and that you're gonna enjoy playing. It can be anyone. Right? There's so many characters to choose from. Now next up is the easiest thing you can do. Load up a training mode, load up a dojo, do whatever you need to do. Jump in with the character of your choice and just mash buttons. Just mash buttons. Get a feel for the character. See what they do, what buttons they have, what special moves they have. Just fiddle around, gin about. Figure out the character. See if you like them, see if you don't. You can do this with all of the roster, right? Just jump into training mode, check them out, see if you like it, see if you don't. You don't have to spend all day in here. You don't have to figure out combos or like crazy things. Just see if you like how they feel. And once you've mashed buttons for a while, feel free to open up the menu, check out the command list, see if there's anything you miss, see if there's any nuances or deeper understandings to unlock, right? Maybe there's follow-ups to their moves, maybe they have command normals, maybe they have special attacks that you didn't even figure out yourself. That's why it's here. Just go through it, scroll through it, see these inputs, be like, yeah, I can do those. Jump in, do them! <laughs> Put it all together! This is all part of learning and everyone goes through it, so don't worry, just have fun with it. And then, once you've figured it out, have a play around, put some things together, figure out basic combos, figure out supers, right? Like, you don't have to be nailing this stuff all the time, it doesn't have to be consistent yet. Just get a feel for it, try doing it, try practicing it. No one's gonna hold it against you, and you're gonna feel like a really cool player when you finally learn that stuff, right? When you finally hit those things. Next up is movement. We have jumps, we have air dashes. Every character can do this except for the bigger boys, but that's like character specific stuff. We're not here to discuss all that. <laughs> but just play around, jump around, throw buttons out. Now, I know I said combos aren't that important yet, and they're not, they're not. It's one of the least important things to learn. But when you want to learn combos, the game has a resource for this, so you're not having to go track down YouTube videos or content creators, although that stuff does help. There's a combo feature, combo recipe maker thingy -ma bob in the game. You come here, you look up your character, and you can just find some basic, easy to understand combos, figure them out in your own time, right? The resources are here, and it's great. It's great for new players, it's great for old players, and hey, if you want to check it out, feel free. There is so much to dive into. Now, next up, the easiest thing you can possibly do, go jump online. <laughs> go throw hands, go jump into a fight, any lobby will do, don't worry, right, like, you're not gonna win all your first matches, you're not gonna lose all your first matches, 
just get in there, get the experience, see how it feels to play against other people, see how it feels to use your character in a real match. Now you can do this by jumping into either the tower or the park, one sort of like ranked grinding whatchamacallit going up in levels, and then the park is just free play where everyone can play with anyone. I prefer uh, the park, I, I it's where I find the most different ranges of skill to learn from. But hey, do you, do whatever you want, but hey, just jump in, go do it, go fight. That's what it is, man. It's a fighting game. <laughs> but have fun is the key component. Go find someone ready up and jump into it, right? It's not scary. It's not hard. It doesn't matter if you win or lose. Right now, you just want to get that experience and you want to learn, no matter what it takes. <laughs> so get in there, go nuts. And I hope this tips these guides, these watcher McCallits, I hope this discussion has helped. And hey, don't be scared. Fighting games are awesome. I love fighting games. And I hope to see you guys on the battlefield. Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> but hey, if you like this sort of content, if you want to see more, if you like the channel, leave a like, comment, and